With a click, swipe, or tap, you can rate, rank, or choose just about anything, or anyone, without even really thinking about it. Get a great ride in an Uber? That's five stars. Have a bad experience at a restaurant reserved on open table? Maybe only three stars. Buy something from an online retailer and it doesn't work? One star, but... Oh, really? When those tables turn... That is surprising. Surprise is one way to put folks' reactions. And I'm not just talking dating, ride, and home share apps who are open about it. You are getting rated and ranked as a customer even when you aren't doing the same. You don't realize that. I'm sure a lot of us didn't realize that we get rated as well. Some call it a score. Most commonly, a customer lifetime value score. The lifetime value score acts as a, as a compass. Anyone who's shopped online, used a bank, has a cell phone or credit card, drives a car, or has traveled on a plane, probably has one. Likely, more than one. They're behind what ads you see and whether you're offered that special deal or upgrade. They can be used to predict if you'll get sick, if you're expecting a child, or if you're likely to give a company a bad public review. A good score can mean a better seat on a plane, a better incentive on that coupon in the mail, and simply better service. Having a low score, well, don't expect the red carpet treatment. The customer who buys at full price does not return and buys frequently would be the one given preferential treatment. Never heard of these scores? Rankings? It's probably because they're private. Dr. Jagdeep Singh. We have no idea how they are computing these scores, what data are they using. They are not openly available for review. And Dr. Casey Newmeyer, our business and marketing experts who've looked into them. You could be treating a customer unfairly or maybe actually treating them very well, even though they don't have the, uh, the history to prove that potentially. Um, so, I mean, it goes both ways. Stores are always looking for ways to get you to buy more, spend more. But a store's rating on you is secret. It's not regulated and you can't even get your own rating. They are not perfect and they can make mistakes. So someone could be treated unfairly or their rating or yes. ranking could be developed unfairly. Correct. Right now, Dr. Singh is involved in research that's taking a closer look at these scores and questioning their fairness and transparency. Part of that study, the retail equation. They aim to, quote, deliver a better customer shopping experience while preventing retail fraud or abuse and protecting the bottom line. If you've shopped at Best Buy, CVS or Victoria's Secret, just to name a few, they've generated your risk score or likelihood to return what you buy. By monitoring shopping behavior, they can limit the amount of merchandise a customer can return. Think you're not affected by these scores? When's the last time you had an ugly encounter on the phone with customer service? You've waited 15 minutes. Someone will be with you shortly. Okay, be honest. Those calls are frequently tracked and logged by an agent, which means too many bad experiences, and they may just not want to deal with you. Suddenly, a five minute wait time becomes a 25 minute wait time, or longer. Your wait time is two hours. I'll just call back later. Many companies don't tell you that, but effectively they, they route your call differently. The lingering question. I really like to know when, what that is. You'd like to know your score? Yeah. I like to know, yeah, everything pretty much. Your rating, your score may be secret, but can you improve it? If you want to be treated like a valued customer, behave like a valued customer. Is there a way to make your score better? Customer websites continually play this idea on how to beat the system. There's no magic bullet, but the experts told me, even in today's world, there's a tipping point. Companies who do very well today may not survive tomorrow. And the power will always, one star or five, be yours. Ultimately, the customer-centric idea, I think, is going to win. There are hundreds of companies calculating these scores as I speak. I got in touch with a number of them in reporting this story. An employee of one of them put all of this in pretty simple terms. What they're doing with these scores 
is no different than what shopkeepers have been doing for hundreds of years, analyzing a customer's value based on how they look, shop, and behave. For more on common factors that play a role in your scores, head to our website and our News 5 app. For News 5, I'm Tara Molina.